Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Data Logic with Shivam. Today we will cover one of the trickiest question which can be asked in your next Power BI interview. Before moving forward, I would request you all to subscribe to my channel and like my videos, which helps me to create more such content. Let's move to Power BI. So the question is, for example, if you see here, I'm having two slicer, customer and product. And here I'm having total sales. If I filter, if I select one of the customer, it will filter the total sales, but it will not filter the product. See, if you, if I will select the another uh, customer, it will filter the total sales, but nothing is happening into the product. So why this is happening? Let's first understand. Let's see the model view. So if you see, we have star schema. Here in sales, this is our fact table and this customer and product where we are having the data like customer and product are coming from two dimension and which are not connected with each other. It is connected with the fact one to many relation, one to many relation. So one way to filter this customer, I mean one way to filter this product from the customer is we can have the Two uh, both directional. Right now we have one directional only. Let's say if we change the one directional to both directional. Here, I'll, if I'll select both, and if I click OK, and similarly here also, if I select the same, similarly I'll select both in cross filter direction and click on OK. And if I will go to my report view and you can see here, I can able to filter according to the customer. If I select an another customer, I will have the product according to that customer and my total sales will also be fi get filtered. I'll select again another customer, another customer you can see here it is getting filtered but this is not a preferred way which is being suggested okay uh, for example this is uh, this is my uh, small model in case if you have large data and have large uh, model in real world scenario then in that case if you do the both directional it will first of all it will slow your power bi also it will create ambiguity and you will have funny results so this will this is not recommended now in order to do that in order to filter from customer to product what we can do here the another approach is for example if let, let's first go back so if you can see here i have one measure here it's total sales. So I am, I can filter, I can use this measure and I can filter my fact. And according to this fact, I can also filter the product as well. I'll show you. So here I'm having custom and product. I'm, since I'm, I have already created the simple measure called total sales. Let me show you. This is sum and some sales of uh, sales of amount and into this slicer I will put into filter I will put I have selected this slicer and I will put this total sales into the filter and here I will select is greater than zero and apply filter and if you see I am able to filter the product slicer as well if i will select another customer you can see i am i can able to filter the product and also able to filter the total sales you can see if i select another customer i am able to select i am able to filter the product accordingly now in some cases it cannot be work also so in that case what you can do you can write another measure let me show you 
you can write another measure where you can write the cross filter where you can use cross filter and you can use this sales product key and then the product key from the product and directional will be both and once you put this for example if i remove this one the total sales and i'll put again this filter and is greater than zero and apply the filter so you can see here i'm getting the same result so in case if it is not working the total sales trick you can use the cross filter function as well in order to filter okay so that's all from today video hope you like the video i would request you again to like my videos and subscribe to my channel see you in next video happy decks